Track. Dude, sick. <laughs> yeah. That's it, just sick. Yeah, it's like my socks are yeah. it's way more mountainous than I thought. You wear track. I think it's really awesome. Except my legs are torn up, but besides that, it's really, really cool, and I'm really happy that I did it. Good. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Hey. I'll say the trekking was awesome. I'm disappointed that there are so many trails though. Kind of wanted it to be more hardcore. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, still haven't taken a shower yet. Oh. <laughs> no. Uh, waiting for the swimming hole. It's gonna be awesome. Actually, the swimming hole be good, good for a ah. shower. Yeah. That'll work. The ground's kind of sharp here, as Graham is demonstrating. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's pretty sweet, you know. Cool. Thanks. What do you think of the swimming hole? Beautiful. Cool. Cold. Is the water cold? Cold. Yeah. Go so after a month of growing a beard. Month? Uh, it's just the mustache. I shaved the beard. I'm just keeping oh the stash. God, look at that. I, 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 it's great. Slug. So thick. It might come out on video. <laughs> if you zoom in, if you zoom in, enough, dude, I'm zoomed in on like the, the, I see it's at least four or five hairs. Fifteen times optical zoom. That's oh, yeah. a thick little mustache. <laughs> Thank you. 
the hiking is um, a lot different than I expected. And um, where there's a guy like, blazing our trail with a machete. And uh, everyone's calling him Mowgli now from the jungle book. <laughs> because it's like springing through and you're with the sandals on. But, or sometimes barefoot. But um, yeah, this is pretty cool. And I think everyone, even those who are a little miserable right now, are pretty psyched about the video and everything. Cool. I don't know. What do you think? Of this? Mm -hmm. Well, this is pretty cool, and this hike isn't as bad as yesterday. Well, that's good. Yesterday wasn't very bad, though. I just want to take these shoes off because I'm getting blisters. How was your um, night, your homestay last night in uh, the village? It's actually the best night's sleep I've had since we got here. Well, that's good. Yes. Cool. And the mom was so nice. Yeah, what was the name of that kid? A really weird name? Sagavasasu, so you say? What? There was a kid last night. Somebody's Didn't you introduce me to some kid? Yeah, but I don't remember her name. But it was like a really cool name, but long. Yeah, well, the, one of the kids' name was Malik something. Mm. What was it? You know what I'm talking about? One of the girls was Manani. Manani was her name. Yeah. Hey, what do you think? This is your first, you just got here, first hour. What do you think? Dude, this place is awesome. Like, if I could live here for like a year, I'd do it. It's just that cool, like, building everything and the mountains in the background, everything's so fresh in the morning. The people are just so nice from what I've already seen and I just I can't wait to get more integrated with this place as time goes on so and we gotta get you some kava dude I want kava <laughs> Gramps head quote unquote it tastes like what do you think about the trip so far the homestay the service all that so it's pretty exciting and having fun a little bit actually um I like building that community center for them it makes them really happy you know, we, we do it, and then sometimes they like to redo it. <laughs> we must not be doing that kind of a job, but we're trying. But um, I like my I like my mom. She's really nice. She does my laundry, and she really cares about me. It seems like, and everyone's just really friendly here. I'm drinking some some uh, some, some kind of juice. What is this? Some kind of juice. So I was thirsty, thing? and they're like, "Oh, sit at the table. I'm gonna give you a whole feast." No, definitely not getting a lot of food here. Tell them, tell them. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. Tell them about our lunch today. Our lunch. Okay, our lunch oh. covered this whole table with everything from like rice, vegetables, beef, chicken, french fries, squat, was it squash, eggplant, cucumbers, fruit, and then they're like, oh, here's your small, here's your small little feast. Oh, I don't think so. It's a, it's a lot of food. It was. I'm full. And they always say, eat more, eat more. Eat more, yeah. That's why Meredith and I just ran, because we're <laughs> probably gaining weight right now. We got rid of our food babies. Yeah. <laughs> Ew. Right, so here we are, putting down a traditional Fijian logo. Um, they start by heating up the rocks with uh, having a fire, and sitting with the rocks inside it, and they do that for a couple of hours. Um, and then they pull all the uh, timbers off, and there they uh, lay some uh, barks across, protect the food, and then they lay all the food, the vegetables, masala, uh, dalo, uh, chicken, and coconut leaves, with, uh, curry leaves with coconut and corn beef inside. Um, they then cover the lobo with uh, taro leaves uh, to keep them steam and slowly in probably two hours it's slow cooked to steam and the food comes out the chicken will just fall off the bone and it's just super moist and super tasty so that's the traditional way for our final feast here in Fiji. What do you think about the trip so far? Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, there's a bunch of people um, starting preparation for dinner outside and I didn't realize they all did so much from scratch and I didn't realize they did it all together which is kind of cool too. They do all the different foods together, cutting up and stuff. Um, Caroline and I just got back from a run. It was pretty toasty. Went for a swim in the swimming hole after. It was really cold. It felt good. We saw another um, lady from the village down there doing laundry. Little kid. Um, looking forward to the next part of the trip. Cool, thanks. What did you think of that whole experience? That was intense. I felt like I was leaving my family at home and it was really sad, but I had a lot of fun. Yes. Did you have a good time? Yes. People are so They're sweet. Still it's ridiculous. Oh, They're still waving. Oh my gosh. I started to cry. That was really sad. It was kind of worse than the first day of school than the last day of school. I'm kind of still upset, so I don't really make sense. I'm gonna miss. But did you see Pulo? My little girl goes. <laughs> no.
families. I love my family. They're like really cool and I really feel like I have an actual like bigger family now and the guy who we left is there's really good nice people and I'm gonna miss them a lot. I'm kind of depressed now. I hope the rest of the trip is good because I'm a little depressed. Awesome. What do, you think, what do you think of that island? I think it's pretty cool. It feels really good up here in the sun. You like it? I'm having an awesome time. But you still miss our village, right? I do. I miss my now and the little baby that cried every night but was really, really <laughs> cute to play with. She finally started to like me a little bit at the end of the trip. And <laughs> and um, my sister, she, had, she was really good at English, so we had some good conversations. I miss them all. <laughs> cool. Thanks. And tell us what you're about to do. I'm about to go scuba diving in Fiji. Yeah. I'm pretty nervous, but. What do you think of this beach? This is has Caroline Finley written all over it. This is a nice beach out here. It's Thank the best beach I've ever seen in my whole life. Do you do you want to tell Jimmy anything about this beach yeah. and? Jimmy, this the shredding the narnar. It's definitely not here at this beach, but um, it's pretty awesome tanning spot and it's beautiful here and. I love you. <laughs> here below is the Orson's Bay Lodge where we're staying. And over here is the edge of the reef where we're snorkeling. It's an awesome snorkeling spot. And right there is the boat the dive where the rest of the kids are diving. Good. Alright. We're at the Orsman Bay Lodge on the Kula Island. And we just finished our nice stay here. And we went, we did the shark dive yesterday. That was a lot of fun. Saw some big lemon sharks. Um, met some cool people on the island. And now we're about to take our ferry back. Five hours. And then a lot of plane rides after that. But overall, the trip was a lot of fun. Uh, sun's coming out. Uh, no thanks to Seth. But <laughs> aside from that, it was a great trip. <laughs> See you later. How was your trip? Good. Huh? Good. Just good. That's all you have to say. Yeah, excellent. You're in Fiji for like two weeks. You want me to do like a wrap up? Yeah, yeah. All right. Tell me what you think. Uh, highlights, whatever. All right. Um, I'll do highlights. I like Malls. Malls was a Fijian guy that uh, he jumped off the waterfall with us and took us around the uh, the, the village and then got me in trouble. He flew for being late to dinner and flew yelled at me. That was nice. I can edit that out. <laughs> um, and uh, after the village, we hiked through. We, hike. we came here where we uh, we got dive certified. And yesterday we did the shark dive. And uh, now we're leaving. Cool. Thanks. One of the highlights I remember the most is uh, falling in the mud. Graham telling me. We got a Kaylin down every five seconds. The going down the water slide that we was actually a waterfall was pretty awesome, which we actually had to hike to. Um, I got to hang out with my family in the village. They were great. One of my little, um, I guess it's nieces or something like that, Bulo. It was crazy. She always called me Alex. Don't know why, but she did. And then, what else? Then we got to go scuba diving, which was absolutely amazing because I had never done it before and it was great to be certified. So hopefully I'll get the chance to do it again. Um, the shark dive that we got to go on was great. We were like five feet away from these lemon sharks that are just huge, scary looking guys. And let's see, what else? And when we got to build a bridge in the village over a river, which we did, we helped them and we finished it, which is a really great, feeling that we got to accomplish that to help them. Cool. Thanks. Mm -hmm.
You like your dress? I like it. I don't have poofy sleeves like Caroline and Betsy, but uh, I like it. Mine Sam and I match slip. perfectly. This smells yeah. incredible. It does. Do you see this smells fantastic? Yours has a slip? Mine has, Mine has a skin. pocket. <laughs> Check it. Pocket. Wow. Slip. Right here. Pocket. I have two outfits actually. I have one for Dre and then one for Tamara. I just met your mom over there. You did? Yeah, I've got her on camera. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, these are beautiful dresses. I love them. second home. Great. Come back anytime if you want. Menaka. Menaka. Um, the, one of the hardest parts of the trip for me was probably hiking or trekking up the mountains. It's definitely not something that I would have chosen to do in my spare time or something that I would have done if I didn't come on this trip. But um, at some point between sweating up the mountain or falling in the mud, I think I kind of realized that by pushing yourself physically, you can learn so much more about yourself than you would have in any other way. And I really appreciate that I could have the time to kind of understand like my inner will or my 
and her determination and strength that I don't think I would have ever figured out or understood about myself if I hadn't come to Fiji and hiked up those mountains. So I'm really happy I did it.